Ruby Martin. She's our road manager, and she loves Rolo, so I would just have to give her my last Rolo. My mother. Chris Evans. You. My little brother, because he loves you. I'd probably eat it myself, actually. If you've had half an eye open recently, you'll have noticed the latest batch of bare flesh pop stars, Bad Boys Inc., who recently jetted off to the Med for the not-so-simple task of making their first video. Naturally, the ozone went too. Oh, here's the bag. I've seen your cat. Oh, great. Excuse me, Mr. Are you our man? We are like in Italy. Well, once again, the ozone brings you to yet another exotic location. Here we are in northern Italy, about an hour north of fashion capital Milan, in a town called Brescia. Except it's not quite so exotic, is it? You're here to do your video, but there's a problem. What's, yeah. the, what's the problem? Basically, the sun's gone. We started shooting yesterday in the sun, and now we have no sun, so we've got to go and find the sun. I think we're going to uh, Parma in Magali, in um, Mallorca. So we're, going, we're going in two hours' time, so we've got to pack. It's not exactly comfortable, is it? As corporate catering manager, Matthew's in charge of snacks, mainly because he's the only one who speaks Italian. But it seems that ordering a sandwich is more difficult than making a video. I have to think about it. There's only one. And now we're late. I said 10 to 7. No one listens to me. As per usual, I was right. Well, I'm always right. Sorry, I'm airline. Right, I'm right. Let's go. Show. You're late. Quick. Have a break. You've got five minutes. Five minutes. You've got five minutes. So at last, Mallorca. And while the video crew do technical things, there's a few minutes to relax. And we decide to have a quick chat with lead singer Matthew, who's only recently joined the band. What did you have to do for the audition? I had to sing Careless Whisper on the phone. So that was quite embarrassing. My mum's an astrologer. <laughs> she's not Mystic Meg. So she's <laughs> predicted this, has she? <laughs> um, she said this year um, that I was going to have a huge change in my life. She said it starts about May, and then apparently I've got another change in September. So come on, let's be honest. Who's the best and who's the worst dancer? <laughs> um, next question. <laughs> Before turning to pop, Ali'd blown the whistle on a career in football. Right, well, I didn't actually make it um, as a professional. Yeah. Um, I wasn't good enough. I always wanted to play professional football, but it just didn't happen. So when I left school, I basically went straight into working in a sports centre as a lifeguard. And I just got really, really fed up. I decided to move down to London to basically do modelling. Um, I worked for Athena. Um, I did it about six months ago now, up in Scotland. Um, and it was basically doing pictures under a waterfall with another girl. Um, and they should be coming out in the autumn. You were telling me about the TV adverts. Come on. Yeah. It sound pretty funny. It was. And what would you say if we got hold of a clip of it? Oh, my life. <laughs> you would laugh. It's half past nine at night and the moonlight's stronger than the daylight, so they decided to call it a day, which means you get a bit of a rest day until tomorrow. Are you worn out? Um, not that much, actually. A little bit, but not too much. Is this what you always wanted to do? It, it, secretly, yeah, but um, you can't really Why tell. Why do you say secretly? Like, well, it's that kind of thing you run around telling people I want to be a pop star or a musician, because people don't take you seriously. Um, do you think they will now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's now day four of what's rapidly turning into Bad Boys Inc.'s first European tour. So it's more video shooting today. What's happening today? Yeah, today we're going to some little cafe. 
it's a little bit more mellow today. We're just sort of sitting around chatting to the girls. I should have known about you. I've seen your cat before. Yeah, I knew Ali from the modeling before, and then we met up with David. We was mucking around together in a little group called No Limits. So what sort of things were you modelling then? I've done a selfie in advert, so that's sort of coming out every now and then. I see it on big vermins, I see myself on TV now and then. Although the video was finished, we can't help thinking an away day to Margate would have been easier. Last week, we gave you the chance to win this signed Take That tour programme. We asked you for the name of Jason Orange's twin brother. Well, the answer is Justin, and the lucky winner is... Susie Smith of Painting in Devon. So congratulations, you'll get your tour programme actually touched and signed by Take That very soon. You must be inside.